Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Finn, uh, or yet another gaming fail, and today I'm here once again with another nice quick DCS Mission Editor tutorial in which we're going to just cover the uh, the very quick um, kind of concept of presets. Now, presets are very, very simple, um, but very, very effective, very, very useful. Um, it's under the Create and Modify Templates bit on the side on the left over here. So if you come down, you've got File, Mission, and Object, and under Object, uh, at the moment, as of October of 2021, uh, the fifth one down is Create and Modify Templates. You're going to click on that, oh. and then on the right-hand side over here, you will have uh, an option of uh, either Create Group from Template or Create New Template from Group. So, um, first of all, let's show you how to grab a template, because that's nice and simple. Uh, I'm going to go and, uh, let's see, if we've got UK, and then we've got Rapier Sand Batteries, that's what I'm going to pick from. So you'll see you've got loads of different options there. Most of them usually tend to be uh, surface-to-air movement, uh, surface-to-air missile batteries of some kind. Uh, very, very useful if you want to build sites. So for example, let's go Russia and we can do an SA-10 or an S-300 PS site. We can go and plonk that down and then suddenly we have like a site of uh, SA-10s in kind of like a standard configuration um, so there you are that's all you have to do is click the uh, country you pick the group kind of setup and then you can if you want to pick the heading so if I set it to be like this you can see I'm just spinning it around and the first unit uh, which is like the the main primary unit which in this case is it appears to be your scan radar not your tracking radar um, is what you will be uh what's it what you'd be spinning it around and then i think if you if you change it and then you click the next one then you've got something different etc etc so that's great so now we've got the ability to quickly add presets in now when you keep clicking it's not going to select them it's just going to place in new units um so unless you want an absolute like hailstorm of surface to air missiles all in one place that's not what you want to do so I'm just going to click through these and hit the delete key on my keyboard just to delete all of these and then we will try out some other bits to do with the template editor cool so next let's build a template shall we so what might be really useful if you want to have a, uh, a template for this is uh, let's say you want to put a carrier carrier strike group out there so Let's say USA, um, we've got the Forestal now, which is awesome, so we'll put the Forestal there, I think that'd be cool. Then let's add like a few more ships in. Uh, these are all by default set to the Forestal, but what we'll do is we'll click through all of them, and we'll go, uh, ah, we want this one to be a Ticonderoga, and uh, this one's going to be um, Tarawa, and this one is going to be, uh, let's get some British stuff in there, because I've got a mod that adds the HMS Duncan and HMS Invincible, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and then let's get an Ali Burke in there. Why not? So we've got a few. We've got a bit of a destroyer screen going on, uh, just like that. Let's say that that's something that we want to create there. That's our our little group. Uh, so we've got all these these ships in there. In in in. Uh, uh, let's change it from HMS Invincible to HMS Duncan. Then. Cool. So yeah, we've got a bit of a bit of a screen going on here. Uh, you know, I mean, this might not be a configuration you would use, but let's say for the moment that it is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dip on over to templates over here, and then you can see the selected group has the group name, and then you just put in the template name for whatever it is, and you call that Brian. Um, let's, I mean, let's not call it Brian, but let's, you know, let, let's leave that for the second, just because uh, you don't want to create something and then have to try and get rid of it because that's a that's a whole other complex thing but yeah so let's let's call it csg just for carrier strike group save template now under usa we now have carrier strike group so i'm just going to click that there and there and then i can just change the heading if i want to just as we displayed earlier and if i want to delete that template then just to the right up here so you've got usa on under create group you've got usa then you've got csg and right next to that there's a little minus button and that will delete the template so there you go that is that that is how you add and delete and place 
and move around templates from the DCS mission editor. Now just remember that the group information for any group that you create when you add it to a template will retain any unit names, any uh, group names, etc. So really useful if you want to build a really like standardized set of like uh, missions. So if you want to add in a friendly wing of strike aircraft that start from an airbase, then you can just have that all preset up and you save that and then you just plonk that down in a template and bam, there you go. So uh, I'll, I'll be using this in any future tutorials as well. Um, so I'll make sure to reference back to this. Uh, but this has been Finn on the end of the game. fell. Obviously, all the like, favorite, and subscribe crap. Uh, I hope you have a lovely day, uh, wherever you are in the world, and that this has been useful to you. Thank you very much for your time, and goodbye.